guys. So I really just wanted to try this so bad. It is the new Maybelline The Falsies Push Up Drama Mascara. I got it in black as more. Black is black. Don't mind my little friend here. Popped up last more um last night while I was getting ready for the semi-annual sale. Plus I worked till 1.30, so AM. So I am very, very tired. Okay, this is what it looks like. Uh, two sides, however, I don't know which side is step one and which side is step two. This side is black and, oh, psych, it is not two step, it's just one. Because that part doesn't come off, it's just this part. Oh, that is very weird. Okay, so for anyone who thought it was a two step mascara, it's not. All right. Let's go. So initially, eh, I don't really like it all that much. Um, and I can't put it on like an adult, as you can see. The brush heads are really weird. Um, it's not giving me volume at all. Um, and it's not giving me, it's giving me length, but it's not giving me volume. And I'm a big proponent of volume. And I have no volume right now. I didn't curl my lashes either. Just to see if... That took care of it itself. And it does. So initial thoughts. It's not a terrible mascara. If you like a lot of length and not a lot of volume, it's great. It is giving me length, but not volume. Like on the package, the package has pushed up lashes, dramatic volume, and lift. I've got pushed up lashes, and I've got lift, but I have no volume. No volume. And to be frank, the wand is really cheap. Like I can feel it moving inside the cap. So that is definitely a big minus about the packaging. Okay, now that my lashes are done, I am going to finish up my makeup and meet you back here in a few minutes. Okay, so I've done my whole entire face. If you want to know what I use on my face, I used the Maybelline Dream BB cream, my new favorite concealer, uh, which I got for Christmas, which is the Urban Decay Naked Skin in, I, in light neutral, and then I, of course, used uh, the Falsies Push Up Drama Mascara and then I used the NARS Madly blush. Popped on some black eyeliner and some lip balm and oh and the Anastasia Brow Duo in dark brown for my brows. I got this for Christmas and I've been loving it. Uh, so I'm gonna zoom you in here. This is what my lashes look like. Um, I don't like them. <laughs> they are longer, but the volume, there's, there's no volume here. I don't think so. I am, I like a lot more volume. And so these lashes are not up to my standards, but I will continue to wear it and take you throughout my day. Um, it is currently I put this on at like 11.45, it is currently 11.50, so I can tell you it's not going to be on for 12 hours, maybe 9 or 10. We shall see. Okay, so this is new. This um, is going to be a different uh, quality of a video. This is, it is, what is time is it? It is 3.44. I am currently in my car right outside of work. Um, 
I wanted to let you in and do a checkup on this mascara. So far, it hasn't like dropped or anything. Like there's been no fallout. Um, it's in the same place it was when I put it on. So that's good. It hasn't moved, it hasn't smudged or anything. So that is wonderful. So if you like if you like length and not a lot of volume, this is a good mascara because it doesn't fall out. Um, it's pretty sturdy. It's kept the curl. It's been on for, what, like four hours? So I'm going to keep wearing it and, yeah, I'll check back in later. I'm so tired. And this is so weird because I keep looking at myself instead of the camera. So, yeah. All right. See you later. So, hey guys, um, it is Friday, January 1st, and I, oh, as I was, I'm, I'm watching uh, the Ohio State Notre Dame game, so that's why I just made that sound. Um, I, and they just intercepted the ball. Okay, so I was editing, um, today's video and the second like my last check-in video that I filmed wasn't working there was something wrong with it just something stupid and ridiculous so I thought I would hop back on and tell you about what it was what it was gonna say let me mute this um, it, it was 630 I believe when I started my last check-in and my final thoughts were on the mascara which I don't know where I put it but it was the plump push-up Maybelline push-up mascara uh, oh excuse me um, but in the end I will not use it again because pardon my finger uh, because it gave no volume um, and I'm someone who really really wants volume and it gave me no volume it gave tons it it did, oh, not tons, but it gave good length, um, and then it didn't drop. It held my lashes, and there was no fallout. So those were the pros. Unfortunately, not enough pros for me to keep using it, just because there's no like volume at all, and I need some volume. So <clears throat> I think those were those were my final thoughts. <clears throat> I hope you enjoy the other two videos. Those videos will be linked down below. And I hope you have a wonderful rest of your Saturday. So don't forget to check out those other two videos going up today. Um, I hope you had a wonderful start to your new year. 2016 is going to be either really bad or awesome and amazing. So fingers crossed. Uh, yeah, have a wonderful rest of your Saturday, and I will talk to you later. Bye.